Hi guys, in today's video, we'll continue with our series where we look at how to use CSS Grid in Elementor, and we'll be tackling this layout where we have a loop carousel that starts from the box content area, but then it stretches all the way to the edge of the screen. This layout was asked for in the Elementor Facebook group, so I decided to show how you can create this layout using CSS Grid. If that's something that interests you, then let's get right into it. To follow along, ensure that you have the grid container active under Elementor Settings and Features because that's what we're going to be using for today's tutorial. And then also ensure that you already created your loop carousel because we're not going to be doing that in this video. We're just going straight to show how the layout is created. So now let me go ahead and create a new page. To start, if you watched my previous video where I showed how to create a two column layout where one was boxed and one was stretched using the CSS grid, then this will be easy to you because we're going to be using the same CSS that we used there. We're going to reuse that CSS snippet here. So if you already have that on your page, then you can skip to the next section. The link will be in the description below. This CSS, make sure it's loaded in your page. You can use the Code Snippets plugin like Code Snippets Pro or WP Code Box, which I'm using here. As long as it is being activated on that page, then everything is fine. The only thing we need to take from there is that we need this class name, which is DD Mixed Grid. So let's go back to our page. Then we'll start by creating a new container. I'll choose the grid container. I'll choose the two column grid. Then I'll make some changes. Change the content width from boxed to full width. Leave the width as 100%. Then I'll get rid of the grid outline for the columns. Change it from the FR to the pencil icon. And I'll say VAR, open the bracket, double hyphen, underscore, DD, grid, calls. Now close the bracket. For the rows, I'll change it to the pencil icon as well and set it to auto. For the gaps, set it to zero. That's it for here. Then under the advanced tab, set the padding to zero. And then give it the class name, which is DD Mixed Grid. And that's it. So the next thing now we add in the loop carousel. So click on the plus icon. I'll look for the loop carousel. Drop it in. Let me add in the template I already created. And I'll change the query. So let's choose the products. So now we have our products. Currently it's still within the box content area. Now we want it to stretch. This is where the fun part starts. So all you have to do is go to the advanced tab. Under the custom CSS, just say selector, grid, column. Then want it to start from the content area. So just say content dash start, then slash. Then want it to end with the edge of the screen. So we do a minus one and I'll close it. And that's it. We have our layout. The only thing left is to style the carousel however we like. Like in the example, we want the icons to be on the left. So all we have to do is go back to our carousel. Then under the style tab, under navigation, first we change it to outside. So now the navigation icons are on the outside of the carousel. Then I'll give it a background color. as well as a border radius. So just give it a high number. Let me just use percentage and say 100%. So now it's round, then I'll give it some padding so it doesn't touch the edge, three, four. Then maybe I'll reduce the size a bit. So I'll just say, just going to pick something random now, maybe like 0.8. So we have our icons. Now we want both icons to be on the left, so we have to go to content, then navigation, and then we'll set 
both of them to be on the left. Right now, the second one is on the end, so just say start, and both of them are together. Then we'll give it some offset. I'll just give it a negative value. Let me see, minus 24, copy that. I'll put the same thing for the other one. This time it'll be 24. So now we have them separated. But you notice that there's still this gap over there because Elementor have created some margins at the edge. So to get rid of those margins, we just have to see the margin end to be zero. And to do that, we just have to drop in a bit of CSS. So under the advanced tab, custom CSS, we just drop in this little bit of code to reduce the size. And now I've set the margin back to zero. So now you can publish it. And then now when we view it on the front end, you see we've got our layout. You can reduce the space, increase the space, however you want. So style tab, if you want to increase the space a bit, so gap between elements, you can make it wider, you can make it smaller. So let's just say a random number. And we have our gap between the elements and we have our navigation buttons. One last thing I forgot to mention is how to create an offset at the edge of the screen. So to do that, just go over to your content tab, then check under settings. You see the offset sides, just choose the right. And then you can adjust it as you wish and you get that offset. And yeah, that's it. If this video has helped you, please do leave a like, share. If you have a layout that you want me to cover, please leave it in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one.